Since the HIV epidemic began, about 88 million people have been infected and 42 million have died. But how did it all start? Where did HIV come from? And how did it spread globally? Today, we're uncovering the mysterious origins of HIV. This is a story that spans continents, crosses species, and reveals the unexpected ways a virus can jump from animals to humans. So, get ready to dive into the hidden history of one of the most challenging public health crises of our time, the Animal Kingdom Connection. Let's start with a simple question. What is the connection between HIV and animals? Well, it turns out that HIV is a zoonosis, meaning it started in animals before infecting humans. But here's where it gets interesting. HIV is closely related to a virus found in chimpanzees called SIV. And it's the virus that scientists believe eventually made the jump to humans. But how did that happen? Researchers believe the likely route was through hunting and butchering chimpanzees. Imagine a scenario where a hunter is wounded and blood from chimpanzee enters his bloodstream. This could have been the moment when SIV virus crossed over into the human population. But here's the thing, chimpanzees are generally quite shy and avoid human contact. So what caused this virus to suddenly start infecting humans? The answer may lie in the historical events that unfolded in Central Africa. In the late 19th century, European colonization of equatorial Africa led to the exploitation of previously untouched rainforests. Farmers and settlers began clearing land for production of rubber and other commodities. This encroachment into the chimpanzee's natural habitat likely increased the chances of human-animal contact and the potential for virus transmission. Now, you might be wondering, if HIV came from chimpanzees, why are there different types? Great question. There are two major types, HIV-1 and HIV-2. HIV-1 is the most widespread type, and it can be further divided into four distinct groups. Each of these groups is thought to represent a separate instance of the virus jumping from chimpanzees to humans. So, essentially, we have multiple introductions of the virus into the human population. HIV-2, on the other hand, originated in Suti Menkabi monkeys in West Africa. It's similar to the HIV-1 virus, but tends to cause less severe immune deficiency. So, now that we know the origins of HIV, how did it manage to spread so widely? Well, researchers believe that the most significant transfer of HIV-1 Group M likely happened in southeastern Cameroon. But here's the twist. It's estimated that this transfer likely happened around early 20th century. So, if the virus was present in the region for decades, why did it take so long to cause widespread outbreak? A few key factors seem to have contributed to the spread. First, the increased use of injectable treatments for diseases like sleeping sickness and tuberculosis in the region. Many of these injections were administered with non-sterile needles and syringes, potentially facilitating the transmission of the virus. Another factor was the changing pattern of sex work in Kinshasa after Congo's independence in the 1960s. The influx of refugees and unemployment led to the rise in sex work, which may have helped the virus spread more easily. But here's the most intriguing part of the story. Some researchers have proposed an alternative theory for the origin of the virus. They suggest HIV may have been introduced through polio vaccine trials in Africa in the late 1950s and early 1960s. The reasoning behind this theory is that the polio virus used in the vaccines was grown in monkey kidneys and there are claims that chimpanzee kidneys may have been used as well. If that's the case, the SIV virus from chimpanzees could have potentially survived the vaccine preparation process and been transferred into humans through the vaccination campaign. 
while the debate over the origin of HIV continues, one thing is clear. This virus has had a devastating impact on human health and society. But by understanding its history and the factors that facilitated its spread, we can better prepare for future challenges and work towards a world where diseases like HIV are a thing of the past. So, the next time you hear about HIV, remember the fascinating and the complex story behind its origins. It's a tale that reminds us of the delicate balance between humans and nature and the need to stay vigilant against emerging diseases. Thank you for joining me on this journey of discovery. I hope you found it as intriguing as I did. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe folks.